So you might be trying to figure out if a website that you're trying to go on is a scam or if it's a virus or if it's anything related to that. Now, I will tell you, if you have to ask that question, most likely a website that you're going on or if you're wondering, it's probably a scam or it's a, probably a virus. A majority of the time, any website or anything that ever comes up that tells you, hey, you've won something free or you've won a million dollars or you have to put in this or that, or even if it's something like this, this is a perfect example, where it says update current billing information. There are lots of things that might look real that actually aren't real at all. The very first thing you want to check if it's any sort of email that you got or if it's a website is to check the email or the domain name in which that email was sent. So if it's an email, you can see right here, this is a perfect example. You can see that this email is, says it's from Netflix. If you actually take a look at the actual email, that is not a Netflix email at all. So you can see that this website is like some random website right here. That is not an, a Netflix email. So if you've got an email and it's linking out to some different page or whatever, this website, everything associated with this, it's probably a scam, of, a scam of some sort. Now on top of that, there are some times where a website may look real, but it's actually not. In this example, this is another case. You can see it looks like an actual Microsoft website, but it's actually not an actual website at all. Now some people actually recommend that if there's like some sort of like padlock symbol right up here, that can sometimes signify that it's actually some sort of like scam or it's not an actual authentic website. So that might be another thing you want to take a look out for is to make sure that that specific website doesn't have some sort of padlock symbol like that. Although if it is a private website and it shows you the domain, well then that might be okay. But just make sure you take a look at the domain itself because if it is not a Microsoft.com or if it's like some other misspelling of Microsoft, make sure you keep a very, very close eye on that kind of stuff. Now on top of that, if there's ever any sort of pop-up that comes like this, where it says virus alert from Microsoft, Microsoft's not going to send you a virus alert like this on their website. The website's not going to tell if you have a virus. If you have some virus tool on your machine, then that will be a different story. But in this case, if it tells you like a virus alert from Microsoft, well, this is probably not an authentic website either. Because one, a website is not going to be able to tell us if we have a virus alert. You can see that there's no domain name and there's a padlock symbol there too, which some people have mentioned is not the you know, best thing. And in this case, with a phone number where it says Microsoft Security Toll Free, you want to look for any misspellings on this website. You can see that right here. It doesn't really look like this is like a Microsoft even, it looks like a Microsoft website, but most of the time they don't just like advertise their phone number here. And they will do as much as they can to make sure you don't call them or don't access a real person, mostly because there's so many people who are calling it all the time. They want to just, you know, have a robot do all their work. And even things like this, where it's like enter key, that just doesn't really look right to me either. So there's a lot of different things like that. If there's like misspellings or if there's like anything related to that, especially with these types of pop-ups, any sort of pop-up you're going to get that says like security warning or that it's a virus or that it's an alert, things like that normally don't happen. And what you're probably going to do, even pop-ups like this at the bottom right, if you have a Windows PC, all you're going to have to do is just exit out of the website, clear your browsing data. And that's basically the main way you can tell if a website is, you know, has a virus or a scam of some sort. So... In terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.